So guys, I've got a confession. I'm not in the UK, and I've cheated on Pentax. A few of you have been asking, um, what's the camera that I use to film? And this is it, the Canon M100. And this is the only camera that I'm going to be using on holiday. We're only here for a couple of days, a short weekend break. We're in Lanzarote. I thought I'd, we'd fly out just to make a video about how Pentaxion should start winter photography. We'll shoot it without a Pentax camera. <laughs> it makes sense. But yeah, it's, um, we, we came down here for sunrise this morning. I deleted the sunrise checker app off my phone, so I have no idea where it's rising from. I'm assuming it's over here, over the background, where you can see. Ill prepared, as usual. But um, I think we'll have a walk around with the Canon, something different. It's got a 15 to 45 lens on. Pretty weird, isn't it? Film's all right, it's great for filming. Um, and we're gonna see what this camera can do for autofocus, manual focus, color rendition. So yeah, I'm gonna stop waffling and um, if the sun actually ever does end up coming up, we'll get some shots of some nice Lanzarote light, hitting the beach, pebbles, find some scenes around there and use this lens, see what it's all about. sunrise looks pretty awesome December time seeing sunrises like this coming from the northeast of England doesn't happen very often <laughs> beautiful Right, seeing as we're not um, doing this as a proper photography expedition in Lanzarote, we've had to come to some of the more local places, the more tourism places, I would say. And um, you'll have seen a few of the shots that I've already put up of this sort of bombardment castle sort of tower. Um, I'll put the name in the bottom corner. And I took some shots of this this morning just from over the other side of the, the island there, over the wall bit. And I wanted to see like how the cannon could handle the sun coming from the left hand side on the sunrise as you'd have seen earlier on in the video and see what we can do with the underexposed images. I just thought this is the most interesting thing that we can, we can see with um, drinking beers and taking photography. We're not going to be hiking any anytime soon so yeah. If we had the Pentax it might have been a different story that probably had to hike wouldn't I? But we've got cannon so. It's uh, midday sort of now, the sun's out, nice and bright. I took a few shots this morning with this Canon. I want to, uh, I haven't brought my laptop actually with us on this holiday, so I can't really see what the files are like until I get back home. But it'll be interesting to see. I've shot most of the, these images at ISO 100, underexposed slightly. And I just want to test out how the Canon handles bringing the shadows up compared to the Pentax because they are both APS-C sensors, 24 megapixel. I mean, this camera's slightly newer, so you would think that it'd be able to recover the shadows and stuff a little bit better. Nothing special what I got, just a few holiday snaps and stuff. We'll see what the files are like, see what the images are like. It's actually a really good camera to use for video. I must say this camera is awesome, the, the Canon autofocus system in comparison to the Pentax, where there's no comparison really. It just, uh, it works. The Canon stuff works for video, definitely. So this is a M100. They don't make this one anymore. I think it's the M200, what they've got now. I'll leave a link for that 
down in the uh, description in case anyone wants a video camera to record themselves shooting Pentax. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's it from me today. It's time for a beer now. I'm absolutely parched. Taking video and pictures all morning for you guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's time for a beer. So I'll see you in the next video. You know what to do. Thumbs up. Thumbs down if you hate Canon. And then at least I know <laughs> how, many, how many Canon haters we got in here. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video and I'm out. See you later.